So Grand Valley State defensive tackle Javier Suggs is closing in on his decision. He told on threes Pete Nakos this week that he is hoping to make a decision this week. It's Thursday afternoon right now. I did see the LSU got in the mix following, uh, you know, really his top six that he released the other day, which didn't include LSU. Uh, but USC, Wisconsin, Arkansas, Florida State, Kentucky, and Michigan are the final six. He had seven and a half tackles for loss, five sacks. Last year, seven tackles for loss, three sacks in 2022. Um, when you and Pete Nagos talked about this the other day on Andy Staples' show, defensive tackles being overvalued right now in the transfer portal because there's way more demand than there is a supply of quality ones. That's why guys in the Division II ranks like JVR Suggs are getting offers from these big time schools. Lou Esposito has been able to develop some under the radar guys, you know, Braden Fisk and uh, who ends up going to Florida State from Western Michigan, getting drafted in the NFL this year. Um, so, you know, maybe he'd be, able to, he'd be able to make something out of him, but I think it's pretty clear they want some depth there. Yeah, and uh, thankfully LSU is no longer paying for players, True. according to Brian Kelly, so we don't have to worry about that anymore uh, being an issue here. So, you know you know what? It, it's his depth at Michigan, and that's what's going to be interesting to see, right? They lost the Kent State kid going to Indiana, and uh, is it enough – for these guys now, knowing that Michigan's probably not a national championship caliber team, you know, last year you had guys that were coming and taking playing at a discount, frankly, you know, we'd heard the budget on that team was $4 million. So guys like Ladarius Henderson coming in and, and Drake Nugent wanting to be part of a championship. Uh, do these guys want to be part of a, a winning team and playing on the biggest stage and uh, backing up guys like Mason Graham and Kenneth Grant? I don't know. That's going to be interesting, but uh, his other five are, are what clay? His other five are, and he visited all these schools, USC, Wisconsin, Arkansas, Florida State, and Kentucky. Okay. And Michigan State was – didn't he visit Michigan State? He canceled his Michigan State visit, uh -oh. I think, once he picked up some more offers, so which I don't blame him, objectively. You know, he's a smart kid then. Uh, yeah, he seems like he'd be a great fit. So uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm not overly optimistic here just because of what I said, you know, but the other ones on his list too, you know, I'm guessing maybe in Arkansas he might – Maybe he'd have a better chance to play somewhere like that, but uh, we'll just uh, see yep. how it pans out. But uh, I think there'll be some surprises, fellas, and, uh, you know, maybe a couple names out there. Everybody just assumes now or thinks that because the portal's closed, you can't sign anybody. There's still a lot of guys in that portal that have not signed yet. Yeah, and something that struck me, too, uh, I wrote about thugs and the defensive tackles the other day. Uh, you know, they had three defensive tackles last season. Uh, in Chris Jenkins, Mason Graham, Kenneth Grant, who all played at least 400 snaps. Now, mind you, there's a little bit of an asterisk next to that and that they didn't play a competitive game through the first eight or nine weeks of the year. But, you know, when you lose Jenkins, there's a lot of snaps to be had in this defensive tackle rotation. And, you know, obviously probably a little bit light there in the spring, given that Rayshon Benny is still on his way back from an ankle injury. Um, you know, they've been toying with Eno Etta inside, but, I think he's more of a tweener, maybe a, a sub package rush defensive tackle and an edge guy by trade more so. Um, you know, there's an opportunity for playing time there. So to me, I mean, I, I think that it's certainly a, a need. I don't know that, you know, I haven't really heard a lot about guys like Trey Pierce being quite there yet. Um, they do need a body there. So and and again, the 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 misconception, like Chris was saying, is that just because the portal is closed, that they're done adding. They're not done adding. It's just who's in the portal right now is who is available. Like you just had to have that paperwork submitted. So uh, we'll see them kind of continue to expand the board if they miss on a guy like Suggs. Uh, but I think at the defensive tackle position, you know, for as much talk as there is about those those two first round caliber guys. I don't think they're quite as deep there as we thought they might be. So uh, certainly fits the billing of, of a guy that um, is going to, you know, would play a lot, I think, if he wound up at Michigan. So we'll see what happens. You're kind of searching for that fourth and fifth guy. You have Kenneth Grant, Mason Graham, Rayshon Benny. Is Trey Pierce the fourth? He was hurt this spring as well, which probably would have been a good opportunity for him to kind of make a move and continue to develop. And you're kind of looking for, your cam good of, of last year. Right. And, you know, he made an impact. He was on the field for some really big plays and almost surprisingly. So I almost thought they rotated too much in, in even the big moments last year, but uh, clearly you can't argue with 15 and zero. but I was thinking during the Maryland game, like, wait, 
why are all these big signs? Why is Cam good? And then he goes and gets a pressure that led to uh, intentional grounding that was a safety. So then I just shut up the rest of the season because I'm an idiot and don't know as much as Mike Elston. So, uh, but they're looking for those guys to rotate. Lou Esposito was pretty clear about that in the spring, talking about how he wanted to. He didn't want to play Kenneth Grant and Mason Graham every snap, even though he joked that that he would like to do that ideally, um, you know, if they could handle it. But it's good to keep these guys fresh. So we'll see what happens there. We'll see if he actually does make a decision this week.